Hello, must welcome to Muskrat 411. Gonna do a little different video for you today. It's about um, about a trap I got here. It's a rare trap slater. Okay, there's the trap I was talking about. It's um, it's uh, it's a new house, number five, from Kenwood, New York. I don't know. Okay, it looks like it's pretty clear there. Um, okay, so some of the information I learned about it from. Um, Mostly from the Trapperman website. You see uh, trapperman.com from the um, Rear Trap website. And it said that, um, okay, it said um, the trap was made between 1888 and 1905, so it's well over 100 years old. Um, if it, it doesn't, it only one spring, I guess, you see somebody took one of the springs off. So, probably to make it easier to set, I guess, so it just says one spring. So it said, um, it's missing that one spring, and um, it said probably could find one around. So, that's, this trap was made sometime between 1888 and 1905. Um, I got some more information from it. Um, okay, it's probably really be hard to see, but down there, I have a better picture um, from um, from an, from a still picture. If I can't see, it's very good. I'll post it. But um, that there, that's a that's a spring manufacturer there, and it is manufactured in Oneida, New York. And um, so they said this is a third. Said there are three versions of this spring. The first two said Kenwood, New York, and this one says Oneida, New York. So this is a third version. So probably looking at about. 19, 1900, 1890, something like that. I had it set the other day. I'll put a still picture of it set because they said um, they said not to set it too much because it might crack from the dry firing because it's over 100 years old. And you see there's some vicious teeth on there. You'll see them when it's set too. So this is a bear trap, so it's some pretty vicious teeth on there. There's the bottom of the bottom of the panel. Oh, I must be zoomed right up. Okay, and there you can see the original bolts on there. Um, there's a tr the trap chain, big solid loop there. This is heavy steel. Um, so there's a swivel. Swivel still works. Swivels around there. It's a good 18. 1800s craftsmanship. So it's pretty heavy. Let's say 20 some pounds. Pretty tough. Maybe 40. I know it's pretty heavy anyway. Pretty tough for a bear to carry around. Okay, so there you go, my late 1800s S Newhouse number five trap. Single spring right now. It used to be a double spring. Um, There's his big teeth. Um, so, okay, there's my rear trap video. Muskrat 4 on 1, purveyor of fine rear traps for this one occasion. Okay, bye.